thank you, you. Carrie? Good morning, good morning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Fun fact, did you know, on average, we say thank you 2,000 times a year? 2,000 times a year. Now, mathematically, that breaks down to roughly 38.5 times a week. Now, I just look like I did it in my head, but actually, I did the math last night. I just wanted to look like I was smart. <laughs> 38.5 times. I don't, 0.5, I don't get it. I guess it's when you just say thanks, I don't necessarily thank you specifically. I don't know. I'm not the guy, so don't ask me. But I firmly believe that thanks and gratitude is given in exchange for a kindness or service received. Much in the same way that we give thanks and gratitude, I take that back. Much in the same way we give, we give in exchange money for services and merchandise. And how many people, show of hands, how many people like money? You know, no, 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 put your hands up. How many people don't like money? I'll wait. I didn't, I didn't think anybody didn't like money. We also like to save money. We also like to put money in bank, spend money on our, spend money on ourselves. But how many out of those 2,000 thank yous a year do you spend on yourself? How many times can you think of in your head you, Ron, how many times can you think of that you said thank you to yourself for services rendered? Now, I must admit, I tried to do this myself, and I could not. I could not think of one time that I said, thank you, you. <laughs> you did all right. We all like to hear thank you. We all like to, even when we don't necessarily deserve it. I still want to thank you, I don't care. I still want my thank you. Scott Stable said, I'm stopping right now to be grateful for everything that I have and everything that I was given. And I know that sounds like, that could sound like material things. That could sound like material things like money and cars and clothes and so on and so forth. But I'm going to be thankful for something intangible. I'm thankful for my disbelief and my passion. So what I'm going to do right now here today, because I've never done it before in my 36 years of life, is I'm going to tell myself, thank you for disbelief and passion. And there are many stories that I can give you for disbelief and passion, but the one that I'm going to do today, the one I'm going to uh, share with you guys today, how many people have been to Brook Run, Brook Run Park? Brook Run Park, right? Love that park. Hashtag great park. So, first time I went to Brook Run Park, I was the guy. I had some ropes. And I hooked these ropes up to my truck. No, no, I got a big Avalanche. All right, uh, Escalade out back. Avalanche. Escalade. All right, big Escalade truck. And I was just the guy hooking up some ropes, right? I was hooking up some ropes. No, no big deal. Nobody paid any attention. It wasn't until I grabbed this harness that people began to take notes. <laughs> what in the is he doing? This guy is strapping up a truck to his back. And they began to ask questions. The biggest of the biggest and most important question, the most functional question to what we're talking about today is, you gonna pull that truck? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Have you ever done it before? You think you can do it? <laughs> no, I've never done it, but I'm going to do it today. <laughs> Make sure I'm all strapped in there. Yeah. Good. So the first time, once I got all strapped in there, I got down to my sumo pose. And I grabbed my harnesses, grabbed my ropes, and boy, I leaned into it. Took a deep breath, and I, ah, I nothing, nothing. 
First attempt was a fail, epic fail, in front of a whole bunch of people who <laughs> swore, uh, and I told them I was going to do it. So I went back in. Uh, I said, that's all right. That's my first try. I got this. <laughs> nothing. I swear. Oh, I'm sweating even now <laughs> with a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, my God. So I said, you know what? I'm a Marine. Oh, I'm a Marine. I refuse to fail. That joker started to move, baby. Oh, I have proof. Did you or did you not see my video? Oh yeah, you can speak. I pulled the truck. <laughs> I pulled that truck. Uh, so, whew, many times, I catch my breath, that was fun. Many times in my life, I've been told that I cannot do something, and I stood in my own disbelief and my own passion. I was told I couldn't get custody of my custody of my daughter from her mother. This belief in passion, thank you very much, proved that wrong. I was told I couldn't start my own business, my own company. I couldn't make it as a speaker. Disbelief, disbelief and passion proved them wrong. So thank you, you, for your disbelief and passion. So I, so I challenge everyone here today. The next time you say. Or the next time someone says to you that you can't do something, have your disbelief of passion. And remember to thank yourself for when those traits kick in that you're thankful for. Stand in the mirror and say, thank you, you. You did. You made it. Thank you. concerned about getting a hardcore evaluation because others seem to install his speech presentation. Two points. So, I put on my hater's hat. Thank you. <laughs> to see if I could nitpick anything and everything that Harry did. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a whole lot of <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry. I found, I found Carrie's speech to be very animated. And as I have gotten the chance to know Carrie a little bit with you being a fellow Toastmaster, Carrie is very animated. Very like over the over the top with his animation. But it was warranted today. The usage of the props was perfect. It helped us to really get a visualization of him being in Brooklyn Park, which is a very busy park. People coming up and saying, hey, what's, what are you doing? What are you not on? And then the squat. You know, I was like, I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice that squat. But the pulling, you, and then I thought I saw his sweat beads coming out. I'm like, he's not pulling anything. But again, great usage of props over the top of information, which was really good for uh, the speech. I really, really tried to be really, really nitpicky, but I didn't find one thing, I would say a little nitpicky, you stumbled on a couple of words, but your recovery was right there. It was human. We all stumble on our words, but it's just the recovery was impeccable. And The title of the speech, I was like, okay, sorry, sorry, not sorry. There's narcissistic caring of you. Thank you, but not thank you. But it was great because how many times do we actually stop to say thank you, you? Very well done. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Not a big trend, but a 9.25. I'll take it. Still an A.